in health news today. It is the most dangerous form of skin cancer and each year about 75,000 Americans are diagnosed with melanoma and around 10,000 will die from it. Dr. Katrina Ryan is a dermatologist with Baylor Scott and White Health. She's here to talk about what you need to know as we head into summer and uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ryan, this is something uh, that's really affecting a disturbing number of young adults, uh, we understand. Um, how do people recognize melanoma? Okay, well, um, it is a very concerning problem to us. There's been a huge increase in the rate of melanoma, particularly in young people in recent years. Um, melanoma is more common in, in um, Caucasians, so in, in the white population, um, particularly in young women and in older men. So um, what we're seeing, particularly in Texas, is an, an alarming rate of um, early melanomas in young women, particularly mm. women who've been using um, tanning beds um, in the past. Well, and when we talk about ways to, to recognize and spot melanoma, what in particular should we be looking for? Well, what I like to tell my patients is um, the A, B, C, D, E of their moles. So um, A stands for asymmetry. If any of their moles begin to look asymmetric, so that one half doesn't look like the other half. B is for changes in the border. So any um, irregularities in the border, if there isn't a smooth um, border to their moles, um, any scalloping of the edges. C is a change of color. So different colors within the same mole. So if you see an area that becomes more black within your mole or speckles within your mole, that can be a reason to go to your dermatologist. D is the diameter. So large moles. Um, our cutoff is about six millimeters, um, but any larger moles or moles that seem to be increasing in size is another reason for concern. And then probably the most important is the E, and E is for evolving, and evolving uh, means any change. So people's moles shouldn't be changing. So if they start to notice a, cha a change in their mole, um, they need to come and see their dermatologist. Um, another thing to look at is for, for what we call the ugly duckling. So one mole that stands out is just being different to the rest of your moles. Another reason to go and see your dermatologist. And, and you mentioned that a number of young people might use the, uh, the tanning bed. Uh, you know, tanning beds for minors uh, were banned uh, a few years ago uh, here uh, in Texas. I wonder, is there a safe way for someone uh, to tan then? Okay. Um, yeah, Texas is really ahead of um, the rest of the country. It's, it was a huge feat to get that law um, passed within Texas. The American Academy of Dermatology was incredibly happy about that because a huge amount of damage is done before the age of 18. Um, tanning um, in a tanning bed is never safe. Being on a tanning bed even once increases your risk of melanoma by 40% of and what it would have been. And having said that, doctor, what is your recommendation for someone who wants to tan? How should they do it? The, mo the safest way of getting a tan is from a bottle or a spray tan. That's the only tan that I really approve of. Um, making sure you don't burn is the most important. So um, wearing um, sun protection regularly. Um, all over, particularly if you're going to be outdoors, um, a higher factor on your face because we're much more, um, we're getting cumulative damage on our face all through the year, not mm -hmm. just when we're by the pool or on our vacation. Dr. Katrina Ryan with Baylor Scott and White Health, a dermatologist there. Thank you for that great information, especially as we get into summertime. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you. All right.